Greetings YouTube, performance reviews where I give you the review from the technician's point of view, and today I have a SIBO Dart. Now this is not to be confused with its older sibling, the SIBO Felix. The Dart is the SIBO Felix Lite, or the SIBO Felix on the diet, or the poverty spec model, however you want to put it. The Dart does not have all the features of the SIBO Felix, but has most of them, making it a very good value proposition. And if you're new to the channel folks, we're going to go on a tour of the quirks and features and usability of the Dart. Then we're going to go to a pickup test, a sound test. We're going to go in the shop, see what makes this tick. And then I'm going to give you a final conclusion. So stick around and hit that subscribe button. Right away, let's talk about what features it does have versus the features it doesn't have. And I think that's going to be the theme of this review is anything that this is really missing, you're going to get with the SIBO Felix. But if you're on a budget and you're just looking for a good vacuum that does both hard floors, carpet, and has a manual adjustment, it's really hard to go wrong with this machine. Now, what features is the Dart missing? Well, first up, the Dart does not have a swivel neck. It is fixed in a straight position. The Dart does not have a telescoping handle. The handle is fixed in position. The Dart does not come with anything but what you see here, which means it just comes with a dusting brush, a crevice tool, and a hose, and a carpet floor head. It does not come separately with the parquet tool like the SIBO Felix. That's the difference. It makes sense because if you were to buy those things separately, you get the price difference basically. The Dart also only has an on and off switch. It does not have the speed control of the SIBO Felix. So if you are doing a lot of dusting or a lot of delicate area rugs, you should take a look at the SIBO Felix or the K3. Enough about its other siblings in the background. Let's talk about the Dart. First of all, you have a nice 30 foot cord gets handed to you and you have a cord hook right here. So you're not having to bend over and wind the cord. That's something I really like about this machine. The cord is about 30 feet, which gives you plenty of room to maneuver around for an upright vacuum. Again, if you're looking for a longer cord, you might look at the SIBO D4, which has a 40 foot cord. However, this is much longer than most other vacuums in this segment. Right on the handle of the machine, you get a dusting brush, which articulates. You get a crevice tool. There is no wand, there is no upholstery tool included with the dart. However, those things are not included with the Felix either. So if you need them, you can either get a turbo tool or get just a basic upholstery tool from your local dealer. And I guess this is a good point to mention. With SIBO, go to your local dealer, give it a try. You'll also get a slightly longer warranty and often a better price than going online and you'll get it that same day. So if you have one in your area and I'll put a link below to the locator, I'd recommend you go to your local dealer. Now there's a few other things going on here. One, we see the hose, which we can just reach down and grab and use. But we also see a little window right there. And what that is, is a full bag check indicator. It's gonna work like the gas gauge in your car. That's very simple. There's a latch on the side and the door to the bag compartment comes open. Before we talk about bags and filters, let's talk about this little orange lever here. It's thoughtful. So you can disconnect the hose right away and pull anything you may have jammed in the hose right in there. Very smart on SIBO's part. As we open the bag chamber, you'll notice there is a green cap here. Simply seal that up and lift the bag up. You see, even the bags are made in Germany. And they're this HEPA material. What that means is this is going to stay nice and clean in here. You're not gonna breathe or touch the dust. These bags are made out of recycled plastic. So that's where all your old bottles are going to. It's not just polar fleece. These bags are also some of the most reasonably priced in the vacuum industry. Now under the bag, there is this orange handle. You can pull this out and there's a pre-motor filter. It changes every one to two years. This mainly gets the felt that the bags can shed. Or if your bag were to somehow break, this will save the motor. You can also get a charcoal version of this as well. If you have pets, I would recommend that. And it's kind of cool right there, as you can kind of see right there, the actual motor. And it's in there, not up and down, it's in there kind of as a slant. So right away, you can see the metal motor. There's also a relief valve next to the motor. 
that if something were to get jammed in the hose, opens up and keeps the machine from overheating or burning the motor up. Now, if for some reason you have a maid or somebody who's not invested in the product and they try to use it without the bag, that is not gonna shut. We can see that there is a little metal clip here keeping that from happening. And one of the genius things about SIBO is as we just insert the bag, you notice it just drops in, it's super easy. Just drops in like so. The bag actually covers that little tab. We're gonna reuse this bag here. And upon doing that, now the unit will shut. So you can't run it without a bag. There is a exhaust filter on this machine and it's very different. So you'll see that there are these clips here. You just undo them. And we can see that what looks like fabric on the underside of this is actually the HEPA material. And then you have the fabric. I think it's only like HEPA 10 rated. This is not, you know, bubble boy allergy filtration. What this is, is filtration for asthma sufferers, basic allergy sufferers and it's containing all the dust it's picking up and cleaning the air in the room. So it's more than sufficient. I'm gonna insert some old clips of me doing a particle test on this, or it's older brother, the Cebo Felix, which uses the same filters. On the subject of these filters, if for some reason you don't like this blue color, you can take the various different colors they make right now and go wild in changing this out. So that's kind of nice and also, it adds a little bit of warmth to such a cold commercial product. Now, some of the other controls is when you look on the side, there is this orange tab and that allows the machine to lie completely flat. As you can see, because the nozzle was lifted from a canister design and there's no bulky cyclone, that this machine really gets low. You have a height adjustment, one being the lowest, four being the highest, right there. It's easy to move. We have an indicator light and a carpet hard floor switch. I have a full video just on this nozzle. I'll try to put it up here in a card, but it's called an ET1 or ET2 nozzle. On the bottom side, you have a button here. You can swivel this cap off, pull the brush roller out, and insert it like so. You have an opening here so that if you get something stuck in here that you shouldn't, you can pull that out. The other thing that's on the front of the unit is this button right here. You can separate the nozzle from the vacuum. So you can put a hard floor tool on here if you wish, or if you just wanna leave this downstairs while you carry it up the stairs, you can. I guess now is a good time to talk about Guitar Hero. <laughs> no. Carrying around the dart. The dart has a nice carrying handle here. You can see the finger grooves. And you can turn it on and vacuum around where you need to with this. They used to sell a shoulder strap, but that has been discontinued, unfortunately. But it's light enough for you can carry this around and handy enough with this hose. All right, let's see how much working vacuum the dart has. Like some of the other SIBO products, there is a suction relief valve that kicks in which makes it really hard to test the sealed vacuum number. But we can tell the working vacuum's a little over 40, which is excellent for an upright. For reference, something like a Dyson V11 gets under 20. A Kirby would be about 20. So you can safely say this has more than enough power. The SIBO dart is mechanically very simple to service. It does have a nice soft art board. This helps manage motor life. Everything's encased in a very hard plastic. It's really hard to describe. Once you put your hands on it, you'll understand how solid a SIBO dart is. The motor is mounted at a slant in there to save space so that you can have a larger motor. As you can see, the motor is encased in a rubber-like material. This absorbs sound and vibration. Very nice touch by SIBO. Everything's really easy to get to. All the wiring, all the switches, all that stuff is meant to be repaired. And that's the great thing about SIBO. The power head's incredibly simple to take apart. It's got a long life belt. I've never had to change one of these belts in all my years fixing these machines. SIBO claims the belt itself has a lifetime warranty. Anyways, nothing really to say about the power nozzle. It's boringly well-designed and German. 
All right, we've switched to our studio mic. We're gonna do our standard pickup test of breakfast cereal, cat litter, flour, and fresh pet hair. Let's see how the dart does. Well, it definitely groomed the carpet nicely. Let's see here. All the flour. No cat litter. No pet hair. Really, the only thing I can say is that it did snow plow a tiny piece of breakfast cereal over here. Other than that, picked everything up, which is no surprise because this nozzle has been approved several times over the years by the Carpet and Rug Institute. A hard floor pickup test. We have our usual subjects, flour, breakfast cereal, cat litter, and fresh pet hair. Let's see how the SIBO dart does. We'll have the brush roller switched off and it on the lowest nozzle setting. A very very trace amount of the flour left there is no squeegee on the bottom side of this nozzle there's no brush but it did really really good it got all the cat litter all the animal hair so I'm gonna call that a pass typically I recommend buying a canister if you're doing a lot of stairs but let's see how the dart does so first thing we're gonna do is separate the nozzle Easy enough. And <laughs> go down to the link below. I'll have a link to an upholstery tool. Since this machine does not come with an upholstery tool, you must add one. So I've got the most basic SIBO upholstery tool. Well, that's not too bad. Holding it upright on stairs is definitely better than trying to let it balance on stairs. Really, if the only nitpicking I can do about the SIBO dart is it doesn't come with an upholstery tool and a wand. Well, then I think it's done all right. Getting into low places with the SIBO Felix is relatively easy, though you're gonna be limited to about three inches with the nozzle, and then about eight inches or so with the body. So it's not gonna get everywhere, but it will get most places, and it's a lot better than something that has a big bulky cyclone. If you have higher pile carpet, you can get a green, brush roller from SIBO, which is their soft bristle brush. Makes it a little easier to push on higher pile carpet. It's also good if you're doing really delicate rugs. I'll put a link below to that as well. If you want a swivel neck, a speed control, a telescoping handle, buy the SIBO Felix. And if you want a separate hard floor tool, buy the SIBO Felix. But if you want a bare bones machine that does everything you need with no frills, the SIBO Dart is definitely the vacuum cleaner for you. SIBO's reputation is second to none in the vacuum industry. The online reviews are good. The SIBO dart really is a great bare bones, basic vacuum. It does everything you need and nothing you don't. If you feel you need it to do something else, like a swivel neck, like a telescoping handle, like a separate hard floor tool, get the SIBO Felix. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more stereo oriented or you're doing a larger house, I would recommend taking a look at their canister line. I have a whole video I'll link at the end here where I discuss the different canister models. If you like this video, definitely hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Those two things help us out tremendously. If you wish to buy a SIBO dart and you want to benefit the channel, there'll be a link below. There's also going to be a link to your local SIBO dealer, and I encourage you to go to your local SIBO dealer and pick one up. Have yourself a wonderful day.